My name is Chris. I am the web manager here at Worldwide Corals. This is the winning Roots Rock Recordia tank. All the congratulations, all the thanks actually has to go to my wife, Christine, because she really made it all happen. The tank itself is a 10 gallon water box. It's all in one. Uh, the dimensions of the water box 10 gallon is 14 by 14 by 14, roughly. We like a more sparse rock work. We don't like a, a very heavy. We like a lot of holes, a lot of areas for water to move through. Uh, but I like a more vertical rock structure because I, I knew that within a 10 gallon tank, it was gonna be difficult to have uh, some of those harder to keep corals. I have a whole, as you'll see, there's a whole line of Aussie Lords that kind of go up vertically up the tank. And, and Aussie Lords are fantastic with each other. You can bunch them in tightly with each other and they do fantastically together. The tank was, the entire time has had a Gen 5 Radeon XR15 Blue. It peaks at about 50%, 55% intensity. I have a bit of a daylight peak and then, but most of the time it's running pretty much strictly blues with a little bit of violet and some UV. There's a, a Nero, a Nero puck in there. I have it set at, uh, I think 15% uh, on a pulse, 15%, that's it. The actual water box came with a filter sock. I actually removed the filter sock. I just use filter floss and I change it out. As it gets dirty, I rotate it and then I change it out with my, uh, with our water changes. We do a 50% water change every week. In regards to actual maintenance, uh, I do not dose a thing, nothing. Uh, I just top off uh, daily or uh, depends on the evaporation. I feed twice a week and I mix up a slurry of our coral food and I will actually feed every single polyp in that tank. It's painstaking, but it's twice a week. But the more corals you have in your reef, amazingly, the more stable it is. This 10 gallon, the, the, these water box 10 gallons and even 20 gallons are per, absolutely perfect tanks for, uh, for a beginner. I mean, I, can, I can't recommend them enough. Just stay on that maintenance schedule. Make sure, do not skimp on your maintenance, uh, especially in the beginning, especially in the first six to eight months. But yeah, if you dug this video, please give us a like, share it, subscribe, we thank you for it. We do read all the comments, so we're you know more than happy to answer any any kind of questions you might have. We'll see you the next time around. <laughs>